going to show you how to make an emergency lamp. It's a multi-fuel lamp, so you'll be able to burn a variety of different types of fuels in this. Um, just off the top of the, my head, you can burn white spirits, you can burn kerosene, you can burn even up to olive oil. Just remember that uh, when you're using oil products, um, you need to use oil that has got a very high viscosity. In other words, it's very thin. Um, the thicker oils tend to burn a lot more difficult, uh, and they're also quite sooty. The construction is as follows. Take one standard honey jar or pickle jar or whatever you've got. It has to have a steel lid. What I've done for brevity is I've already drilled the hole through the lid like this. In the electrical department of any hardware store you have these steel grommets. Now essentially it is just a tube with a thread on the outside and two nuts. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to use this to create the channel that the wick is going to pass through. So you just insert it in the hole and then on the other side you would put the nut to hold it down against the lid like that and then the top nut secures it against the lid so that it doesn't go anywhere so you just attach it like that screw down real tight nice and tight like that so now you've got a little nipple passing through the lid so that your wick has got a channel through which to run what it also does is it eliminates that jagged edge on the hole so that your wick when you are extending or retracting the wick uh, manually it doesn't get snagged up or fouled against the, the jagged edge of, of the hole. Um, this is just a meter piece of um, cotton wicking material that I put, purchased at the hardware store. Uh, also very freely and easily available. I've gone ahead and measured and cut it to the length. Essentially the length is going to be, you're going to allow yourself some wick in the inside of the jar which will help to transfer the oil or the uh, combustible material up to the burning point also allows you some length so as the wick burns out that you can extend it like that so to get it through the hole very simply you just take the end of the wick and you roll it up into a little tube nice and tight so it's nice and compact so that it's small so it will pass through the hole you then take the hole and the wick and you just push it through like that so it extends so that's the wick assembly. Very, very simple. Now you've got a wick with a lid and a channel through it. The jar, obviously, I'm just going to take some white spirits that I've got uh, that are used for in my stoves and just pour some into here. Like that. Like I said previously, you can use a variety of fuels. You can use lamp oil or kerosene, paraffin. Um, you can use white spirits. You can use um, olive oil they all burn very well. Essentially what happens is the cotton of the wick burns and the combustible oils will burn with the wick. In the, in the case of white spirits, obviously the white spirits is already flammable, so the wick is just controlling the burn itself like that. So we're just going to wet down the wick like this. You can see just from that it's already starting to draw up into the, into the top half of the wick, so it's actually drawing the, the fluid up from the bottom. I'm just going to take a little bit extra and just wet the wick all the way to the top just to make this process a little easier. There we go. Just dampen that wick down. Oops. So always remember that when you're lighting this that you keep your fuel and, and fuel sources quite far away from it. To clear any combustible off the top of the lid, otherwise, we're getting a nice flash. So, there we go one emergency lamp and proof of the pudding. Just burn off that little bit that's around the lid, and there we go one standard emergency lamp. I hope this proves as useful as it is to you, or as to me as it is to you. And um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be back with another video. Thanks.